Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the vlog. We are in Dells, Wisconsin. We're heading over to a really cool zoo. We're gonna be like checking out rhinos and all kinds of other animals. It's gonna be an absolutely amazing day. This town is absolutely insane, loving it. It's gonna be a great day. Let's have a great time together. And I'm at Timbavati's Wildlife Park right here with Mr. Biggie here. You guys know that I absolutely love giraffes. There's just something about them. I've been fascinated with them since I'm an absolute kid. And come on, Mr. Biggie. There you go. Oh my gosh. I tell you what, that long tongue, it's kind of sticky and gooey a little bit, but it can come out and wrap around things. Absolutely incredible. These things are ridiculous. Come here, Mr. Biggie. Come here. There you go. Oh my God. So we're just gonna be hanging out. We're gonna kind of learn a little bit about this park. I drove over 500 miles just to come here to spend the day, have an amazing time. I don't know what animals we're gonna meet today, but I know it's gonna be absolutely incredible. You know that I have been into zoos since I was a youngster. So every time I get a chance to visit a zoo, I absolutely love it. So uh, me and Mr. Bigger are gonna hang out for a minute and then we're gonna go see what else Tim Bavadi has to offer. You ever thought you wanted to have a pet rhino? Well, uh, here we go right here. Matt's over here just calling the rhino. As soon as he started whistling for him, he's amazing. I love rhinos. I just think they're absolutely incredible animals. I mean, I always think to myself, what kind of crazy animal did, did came out of this? I mean, look at this thing. It is absolutely stunning. Oh my gosh. How old is he? He's three years old. Three years old. How long did he have him? Uh, he came in last fall, so since October. Can I come pet him? Or? Absolutely. Right. There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is so amazing. And it certainly takes me back to my time in Africa seeing these guys in the wild. I mean, unbelievable. And I want people to learn about rhinos because they're such in peril right now in the wild. Of course, because of that rhino horn and the poaching is ridiculous right now. There's less than 20,000 white rhinos left in South Africa and uh, less than 5,000 black rhinos. These guys are in unbelievable danger. And I mean, who could take an animal like this, this beautiful creature here, and want to harm it just for something like its horn that doesn't do anything for anybody. It's just made of keratin. And uh, it's just an absolute shame. So uh, so coming to places like this and seeing it, oh, great. I mean, it gets people to love them, right? It does. I think any time that uh, you get an experience or connect with something, watching it on TV is interesting, yeah. but to actually come and see it and have some contact with it definitely makes that connection. It's unbelievable. I mean, and he is just a beauty. He's not have a role. He likes his mud bath. Oh, I love the mud bath. With less than 20,000 white rhino out in the wild in South Africa, and close to two to 3,000 of them per year being poached, it's not hard to do the math that it's not gonna be long before these majestic creatures are literally wiped off the planet. We have to somehow come together and figure out a solution for the poaching. And it really starts with the illegal rhino horn market. We have to somehow figure out a way to teach people and educate them to understand that these rhino horns aren't good for anything. They are literally no different than our toenails or our fingernails, yet these animals are being wiped off the planet because for some reason people think that they have some magical powers. So my name is Matt Schobel, I'm with Timba Body Wildlife Park. My family's been in the wildlife business for about 50 years, the third generation. My kids are coming in to be the fourth generation right now. The park here was founded by my parents in 2011. This was the third wildlife park that they built in the Dells. We moved it to this location, opened up mid-2012. My dad passed away here about two years ago, and my mom and I have kept the park running and are continuing to expand it, so to speak. Me and Carrie just hanging out from KB Reptiles, you know? Hey. We made a bunch of new friends today. I know, they're so cute, aren't they? Look at them. These are better than all my other friends. <laughs> And 
and again, I've said it so many times. I don't know, there's just something about zoos that just make me happy. It's like every day of my life, I think I could come and hang out at a zoo. And this one's cool. I've actually driven by this before, but never been here. It's really awesome. Again, the Dells is a very tourist-driven town. And uh, just look at the waterfalls and all these features here. <laughs> How absolutely incredible. I love it. Uh, I don't know what else to say other than the fact that some of my happiest days seem to be when I'm around animals and oftentimes at zoos all over the world. Matt brought me to the pig race here, so uh, this should be good, right? Oh yeah. All right, yep. good. looking forward to it. Wine in the in the Midwest. <laughs> this is awesome. This will be a blast. I don't know what's going on right now. This is the most adorable little dude in the world. I was gonna say monkey, but it's not a monkey. It's actually a kangaroo. <laughs> its name is Skippy. It's a little seven-month-old Joey, and uh, I think they're all named Skippy at this age. I'm not 100% sure. Regardless, I think we're gonna go ahead and make up a bottle and give this little dude a little bit of food. It's the cutest thing in the world. Oh my gosh, is it the most adorable thing in the world? I tell you what, and of course, these little guys will spend, you know, sometimes up to a year in a pouch, but, uh, Usually about six to eight months, they'll start to come out and venture around. So Skippy's at that age where it'll come out, jump around, then go back in the pouch. It's absolutely adorable, but uh, still bottle feeding this thing. Unbelievable. <laughs> you know I've done this a number of times. It never gets old. I mean, it is just the cutest thing in the world. Oh my gosh. And remember that time when we went down to Florida and Forrest bought the little wallaby? Yeah, his name was Robbie. I don't even know what happened. I think Robbie down at Get Swamped actually has Robbie the wallaby now, but regardless, uh, I would always one day like to get some roots because they are really unbelievably amazing animals. It's pretty cool to see this little baby zebra ribbons. Uh, Matt, how old is she? Well, she must be about two months now, just two about. Months. Oh my God, that's so cool. I've actually, ironically enough, been around zebra in Africa and stuff like that, but I've never seen a little baby up close, so it's really cool. I mean, I've seen them tooling around at zoos, and in the wild, I've seen little babies, but uh, Ribbons is a little bit uh, little bit nervous, so we're not gonna get too close because we don't wanna get kicked. You can see she's kind of facing in the corner right there. She's kind of in that defensive mode where she's a little bit frightened, and she's gonna use those back legs to kind of keep us away, which is completely fine. So we'll keep our distance from Ribbons, but she is absolutely adorable. Take a look at this cute little skunk. Every time I get an opportunity to mess with skunks, I do. I don't know, they are just so amazing. Now, you do need USDA permits to own them. That's the only reason why I haven't had a little skunk yeah, but I'm thinking it might be something cool to put at the Reptarium for sure. And this one is actually a little chocolate, which they have a bunch of different color mutations of skunks as well. But uh, I kind of like the chocolates and I like the normal ones too, because that black and white just is something amazing about them. And even after you remove the scent glands, they still have a little bit of an odor. But to be honest with you, I kind of like it. I think it's really cool and absolutely cute. <laughs> <laughs> Just going for a little camel ride here. Last time I was on a camel, it was actually in the deserts of Alice Spring for Discovery Channel's Venom Hunters, and uh, that was a lot of fun. Let me tell you what, uh, this is a little bit more tame ride, but absolutely a good time. And you know, that's what life is all about. When you go to places like this, you try to enjoy yourself to the fullest, and, and uh, hey, I'm having a great time. Oh, how cool is that? Anything for the shot. The greatest way to get people interested in conservation is to make them appreciate something. Not just to learn about it or teach a lesson, but also to appreciate it. Like the experience that we had with the rhino, I wanted you to feel it, you know, as much as possible. Obviously that's something that's special that not everybody gets to do, but you make a connection. Even just seeing one in person, how big it is, you know, how intelligent they are. That connection is what I think ultimately is the best thing you can do for conservation. Because it's easy to donate and just say, well, I donated and I gave to a cause, but do you ever see what actually came from the donation that you made? It's important, but that connection and the appreciation that's involved, I think will do more to save species, if you will, than just throwing money at the problem. It is an education, but do you really appreciate what you just saw on TV as much as the experience that you just had? 
when you got to put your hands on it. And I think that's the mission statement, if you will, is you know you need to connect with these things. People, I think, are too separated from the wild now, so maybe they don't have that appreciation of it. Hey guys, uh, just hanging out in the kangaroo pen a little bit. How you doing, buddy? Hi. We're gonna go check out this kangaroo over here. This is a nice big old male right there. Oh my gosh, he is absolutely incredible. I love kangaroos. Look at just how graceful they are. Hey guys. Hi, how are you? How you doing, buddy? <laughs> I tell you, I love these guys. Hi, little one, hi. Oh my gosh. And I tell you what, these guys are so soft. I mean, it is unbelievable when you feel these guys, how incredible they are. They're just like little pillows. I mean, they're unbelievable. And of course, the red are the big ones. You know, these guys get really big. I tell you what, Matt. This is awesome, dude. Mm -hmm. this, are you ever think like, how did I ever get here? I mean, it's like, you're so lucky to be able to do <laughs> Very this. Very lucky, yeah. It's amazing, right? You bet. You see, she's got a Joey in the pouch. Oh, yeah, she's got a little Joey over here. Look at that big old Joey, too. I tell you what, I could, I could just hang out like this all day long. This is so amazing. Hey, buddy. <laughs> We're in the parakeet room. There's about 500 parakeets in here and you can just take these seed sticks and just come in here and hang out with them. It is absolutely so cute I mean, adorable. So, uh, there are birds all over the place. Absolutely amazing. I love encounters like this. You know, no trip to a zoo is complete without going on a little bit of a train ride. There's just something synonymous about this. If I ever open up a big zoo, there's one thing I know for sure. I'm gonna have a train 100%. over the amazing Timbavadi's Wildlife Park. I tell you what, this has been an amazing day. Thank you so much, dude. You're oh, amazing. By the way, of course, we have Carrie Bear Roast in the house yeah, from KB guys. Reptiles. If you guys want to see a different type of vlog, you can check these guys out. I'll put a link in the description. They'll show you another view of what we did today. Of course, my buddy Scott, I'll put a link in the description for his social media. Definitely one of my good friends that helped to set up this whole thing. Of course, j Dog over here. Jay Tomsky, Maria. All right, so I'm signing off. Have a wonderful day. I love you guys so much. Be kind to someone, and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow. Yeah.